All right, boys and girls, sorry this is in um, Smart Notebook, but I was not able to get into IA in the same way as the other ones because it's a locked assessment. Um, so we'll just do the best we can. Um, this is number five. It kind of got cut off from the recording screen, but number five says, which two sentences from the story make the historical event sound memorable? So on your loose leaf paper, I would put number five. It is a TEI, two sentences, historical event, sound memorable. And what does it mean for something to be memorable? It means it's something that you will remember forever. Something that really stays with you. All right, and you can see we have one, two, three, four, five boxes in our TEI selection. So I'm just going to very roughly draw. You can draw this with pencil much easier on your loose leaf than I can. But you just want to quickly jot some things down about each of your choices because we are looking to see which two make the historical event sound memorable. Most of this you can probably prove on your screen, but with loose leaf, it's really not as hard as I'm making it look. All right, here we go. So we're looking for the historical event sounding memorable, something you're gonna remember forever. All right, first one, he could see her eyes sparkling pride and great joy. Well, he's talking about his grandma and if her eyes are sparkling with great pride and joy. We need to think what were her eyes sparkling about? Well, they were actually sparkling about that historical event um, about the president, first black president being inducted into the presidency, inaugurated. Pride and joy so that fits it sounds like she's going to remember it forever and she is feeling the pride and joy about that historical event so to me that one's looking pretty good i'm going to give it a dash we'll come back to it in a minute make sure because we need two finally jerome's father successfully got through the traffic Hmm, is that about the historical event? No, Mrs. Gregory, that is about the traffic. And if you've ever been stuck in traffic, you might remember it for a little while, but it's not a historical event, <laughs> okay? So I think we can get rid of that. If you wanna write something on your loose leaf, you can say traffic, <laughs> not historical. And exit out. All right, third one down. Over the years though, things have gradually gotten better, stated his grandmother. Well, she is talking about things getting better historically because it's over the years. Um, but she just makes a very general statement about things gradually getting better. That's nothing specific in her memory. I'm not gonna mark it out, but I'm thinking it doesn't, it's not an event. This says the historical event. She's talking about history, but that's not one event. The more I talk about it, the more I'm thinking. Mm. Over the years, not an event. Okay, that was a gradual thing. So I'm thinking, no, we can revisit it if we want to. Jerome couldn't wait to be part of the history being made. Well, he can't wait. That shows excitement. That's going to make it memorable. That makes it memorable. And to be part of the history being made, he's talking about that historical event. Oh, yeah, that sounds good. So let's look at the last one just to be sure. When family needs us, we do what we have to in order to be there for them. Well, is that about a historical event? No, that's about family. So 
So again, not a historical event. Family, not historical. So our best answers were the top one. You could see her eyes sparkling with pride and great joy. And the fourth one down, Jerome couldn't wait to be part of history being made. You really just need to keep going back on this one to the question stem. Is it about the historical event? Does it sound memorable? Yes, her eyes are sparkling. She's going to remember it. Great pride and joy about the president, the historical event. He can't wait. It's memorable. Part of the history being made, that is the historical event. All right, that is it for number five.